Hello crafters, welcome back to my channel. This is Sue. I'm here with a haul from, a uh, small tiny haul from Walmart and a Daiso haul. I have never been to a Daiso store and I was like I said before, a little child in a candy store. Um, they had so many fun things and I felt like part of the time I was in a Disney shop, but it was so much fun. And I've picked up more than I probably should have, but I'm going to share with you um, what I got. And anyways, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with just a couple simple things. I picked up this um, container um, file case. And I picked this up because I want something that I can cut uh, pieces for 3D projects and whatnot, and I can cut more than one at a time and keep them all together in this file. So, and I can see what's in here and whatnot. So I grabbed that, and everything I got at Daiso was $1.50. I didn't buy anything. I didn't even find anything that was more than $1.50. So, um, that was a lot of fun. I also picked up because I have seen this and many people I have received packages with this really fine shred in it and um, I love it this is got pink and iridescent in it so I got pink I got some red for patriotic stuff and holidays maybe Christmas whatever I just thought it was pretty and then I got this one that has a uh, red and blue like really tiny print on it and so I thought I could mix that for 4th of July or whatever. So I grabbed that one. That was just fun and grabbed it while I was there. Then I found these um, file holders. And I've been trying to find a way to do some more organizing in this small, tiny space I have. And um, anyway, so I grabbed these because I thought they were really pretty. I wish they would have had them in pink or a blue or something but I can always I guess spray paint I might try spray painting them but maybe not white works so I grabbed three of these and I'm hoping to set them along my desk whoops and uh, use those then I also grabbed these and the reason I picked these up is because my beads are in the other room in a cabinet in a pull-out drawer all organized in the little Dollar Tree containers. So when I go in there, I don't necessarily have to drag a bunch of containers in here. I can go through them, pick out um, prod beads and pieces for my project, and I can do like, I'm gonna do, let's say, a Disney dangle. So I'm going to put my Disney color beads in there, my clasp, my chain and all that, and have it go on. And they only had four in this size. They had bigger ones, but I didn't want bigger ones per se because I just wanted them for a project just so I can bring them in here, set them on my desk, and work from them doing a project. So I picked up four of those, and um, I'll let you know how that works. Then let's get along to some of the other goodies. I'm going to move this over because I have several little goodies. So, and I picked up things to share with some friends and some Happy Mail and so forth. So, I picked these cat stickers up. I thought they were so stinking cute. And I don't know if you can see, but that's the the kitties that, um, stickers that are in here. So, I picked those up. I thought those were fun. And I picked up some Disney stickers. So I got some Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And I just thought these were really cute. They're like little tabs. Um, page tabs. Markers, whatever. But I just love the little Mickey. The expressions. And it's kind of the old style Mickey. So I thought those were fun. Little tape. tape <laughs> page markers. And then I grabbed these. Also, I thought they reminded me of the old style Mickey Mouse that I remember watching as a kid. But I love the expression, the big eyelashes and the expressions on his face and Minnie's little face. This reminds me so much of the old Mickey. And I think I'm going to be sharing those with a friend. And then I picked up these stickers and I'll show you here. This is what they are. 
I just thought they were so cute. I love Mickey and Minnie. So those will be cute to share. Then I picked up these donut stickers and I saw these were so cute and they have the little tiny ones. So I'm probably going to put those in my donut journal someday when I get it done or my recipe journal because this is really cute. It says best recipe and menu. So I thought those were really pretty. So I grabbed those. Then we went on, I, I grabbed some um, bags, some little goodie bags and stuff. And I thought this was so cute. Little mini and their purple shoes. And they're just little envelope bags with mini signature. Then I ha I grabbed these. Are the clear plastic bags? And they have the little tie things, but I like to use like stickers. And I have some other stickers. Um, the ones I got at the dollar store, I thought they'd be really cute to seal these with. And there's 30 bags in here. So these will be really fun to share some little pieces, bits and pieces. And this is another, I love this. I couldn't pass these up. I don't know. I'm going to open this and show you because these are so cute. I hesitated and hesitated. I picked them up. I put them down. I picked them up and put them down. I was like, no, nope, I can really, these will be fun. But they have the little envelope um on the back so i thought they were so cute they'd be awesome for flat mail or i'm not sure i i i know there's some disney and some mickey and minnie lovers out there so i grabbed that one and then i also had to grab mickey because mickey can't be without minnie right so we got mickey and minnie and then i found these cute um ziploc but they're uh, little gift baggies, but they're the, got the zipper lock on them. So I picked up some pandas because, again, I was thinking of friends of friends of friends. And then I picked the cats up. I thought these are really cute. And I know somebody that likes kitties. I like kitties, too. My, I love my kitty. And then I picked up the fish, and I thought, oh, I can share this with some of my, my whole tropical... Um, thing so I thought that was fun I can share some goodies in those and then these mini mouse bags are so cute they're the little ziploc bags so I will be sharing 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 so I grabbed those and then I found these picks and I thought these would be really cute I'm going to I could also snip them off. I can make dangles out of them. I can stick them on ephemera. Or I can share them with somebody. Anyways, I grabbed those. And then I found this cute trim. And it's pink and kind of a mint. It's going to be hard to see. Uh, sequin trim. And I thought that was really pretty with all the pink and, pink and mint green lovers. So I thought that was really fun. I can put that on some good stuff then I found some punches and I'll probably be sharing these I don't know who I had in mind might have them but maybe not but anyway I got Mickey and I like it it's a good size Mickey I have a really tiny one that I can use for doing confetti and stuff I thought that was really cute you could put it on embellishments or whatever you could make confetti out of it I guess and then I got the mini bow I thought this was really cute use that on all kinds of things bows you can use on anything so I got that one and then I got this bow one and again I thought these would be really cute if you could punch them out of glitter paper or um, ribbon or what have you so I grabbed that one I'm gonna move these guys over here for a minute because I have lots of little goodies and then I went nuts because I found these char these they're actually earrings but I'm not using them for earrings. I'm going to break them down and I'm going to use them for dangles and do some chunky charms and whatnot. I like rose gold, so I got rose gold thinking of myself. Um, make a mini. So they have this one. So I can take these off and I can get two sets of um, dangles. And then the hand and the... Mm, uh, Mickey pants. I thought those were so cute. Mickey shorts. And then the mini with the mini bow and the heart. 
And it's already got chain on it, so you can just put it on a dangle. So I got that one, and then I got the vintage Mickey and Minnie. Or, I'm sorry, Mickey. These are Mickey. Uh, so I got that and another set of the pants. And then I picked some up in gold. They didn't have any silver left, darn it. I would have grabbed those too. But So I got the Mickey head and the heart there. And I thought this was cute with the little diamond. A little rhinestone, I mean. And gold. And then the Mickeys. And then another set of the mini with the heart. I thought these were so cute. And I can't wait to do some Chunky Charms with those. And then I picked up these. I was looking for gold paper clips. And these aren't regular gold paper clips. But I thought when I looked at my... The dangles and stuff might stay on the ends better, or you can make little flag clips with them with ribbon or what, small ribbon and stuff. So I'm going to try these and, um, yeah, so I'm going to make some fun stuff, some little paper clips. Uh, maybe I can even dangle one of the Mickeys off of those and make a little gifty set. I'm not sure. And then I found these clips, and when I saw these, I immediately thought of... I'm going to pop this open because I want to see. I immediately thought of adding cabochons, gluing them on because they're flat on top. Okay, maybe I'm going to open these. I'm going to see. I'm going to share this, with you, this idea with you. So I thought these are just little clips that... Uh, let's see, what can I clip on? I have something here. I know I do. I know I do. Now let's just use the punch. So they're little clips and you can just clip them on like a page. Whoops, upside down. So I thought, why couldn't you glue a cabochon or something onto the top of that and make it a little paper clip? So that's kind of my idea. I'm not really crazy about the green, but there's the clear and there's the lime green and kind of a yellow limey color. But once you put a cabochon or something on it, you're not going to see the color so much anyway. So I guess it wouldn't matter. Owie, owie. I got a sore finger. So anyway, and there was quite a few in here. So um, maybe I can share some of those with some um, friends if they're interested. But yeah, there's 36 of them in here. So I thought that would be a fun little idea maybe. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed these, and these are so stinking cute. I had to get them, and I would have bought more. They only had this one left, but they're actually like little sauce containers, but I'm not going to use them for sauce containers. Of course, I'm going to use them for ephemera sharing. Um, I thought they were so cute. I'm going to pull them out and show you. A little, put some glitter or something i'm gonna actually yeah yeah small like so like glitter will fit in these and i thought oh my gosh i'm going to do that i have some like chunky glitter and small pieces i just thought it would be so fun put little little bits in it of something or little rhinestones or you know what else would fit in there is the diamond dots so there's a, I don't know. I just thought they were so stinking cute. So I thought, always, always need some little something to share. And of course, I know somebody that likes her Mickey Mouse. So those were cute. And then I also got these little bottles. I'm going to change the labels on these. But they also, I can put diamond dots or... Um, chunky glitter in these because they have a small opening and the lid actually screws down to close off the opening so they won't go anywhere so I thought those would be fun to play with too just something different I'm just uh, something different I'm the same old thing and then I found these pastel pony holders for making the little heart shaped things and I want to put pearl wire do string the pearls. I saw somebody do it on YouTube and I'm going to make some and I'll share, I'll, I'll find her link and share it. But I thought these colors were so pretty, really pastel. So I grabbed two of those because I thought maybe I'd share if somebody wanted some. 
And then these are kind of a crazy find, but I, I bought them for a reason. I want to use the colored, they look like little Legos. They're not, they're the little petite blocks, but um, I'm going to take the colors out and make uh, charms and make a chunky charm like a Lego chunky charm. And those had purple and this one had pink in it. So, and then they're also fun. I have some little tiny glass um, Christmas ornaments that these, some of these small ones fit into and they're fun to make like little game ornaments for the kids. So I'm going to probably do that. And then I picked these up and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them because I don't think they're what I really want for uh, making charms like ice cube charms. I just thought they were kind of different and cool to put in my vases even with my flowers or um, just decorative on a tray. So I grabbed these. I could drill them and make charms. I think they're, I don't know, maybe they're not little, but they're really lightweight. So um, if I did want to drill them and make like ice cubes um, on a dangle, I could, but I'm not sure that's what'll happen. I just thought they were different and I was thinking flowers. So I got those. I just bought one pack to try, so we'll see. I thought they'd be pretty. And that's all I got from Daiso. All? That's, yeah, I'm saying that's all I got from Daiso. Well, like I said, I bought some stuff to share, so this will be shared. And then I stopped at Walmart today because I had to go pick up some necessities, believe it or not. We do still need um, essential things in the house, um, and they're not called crap items. But I found this. Um, and I wanted to do some vinyl and shaker little pocket things. So I bought this and I thought maybe for 4th of July, since I'm not going to get them done for Memorial Day, obviously, I thought 4th of July. So I grabbed those. Then I found these and these are really small ones. And I thought these would be pretty for the heart. And there's a blue one. This is not really red, but the blue I could do a patriotic, um, heart and put it on a dangle and they're small enough um, running the wire to shape them like a heart um, will be fun they'll be a good size so I'm trying to see yeah they'll make a good size heart once you put the wire in it so I'm going to try that these are the kids um, count so I grabbed those and then I picked up these heart or oh my gosh Talking about hearts, these are stars. These are stars, too. And they have a decent size hole in them, so I believe I can use them on my pokey tools and stuff as well. But I thought that'd be fun also to do dangles and whatnot. The colors are pretty. I like the mint green and the pinks. Lighter pink, of course. The purples. So I just thought those were fun. And these, I believe, oh, there's a hundred of them in here. That's quite a few. And I want to say they were like 97 cents or $1.97 or something to that effect. They weren't very expensive. So those will be fun. And then I picked these up for somebody. And I know it's not a ton and she uses a lot. And Ebony, I got these for you because they are the little tiny stars and they're so pretty. There's no holes in them. They're the star glitter. So I thought, well, you can use it to do a couple of <laughs> a couple of um your uh rosettes or you can mix it with some other glitter stuff maybe but anyway i pick i thought of you when i picked these when i saw these so i grabbed the last two they had and um i'll put those in your box but anyway uh, that's it for my haul and I, that's a lot of fun stuff so i can't wait i think i'm gonna start breaking these down and make some chunky charms and I'm going to do some paper clips and just some easy no-brainer things to play with. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for joining me. Um, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and a like and a comment would be great if you like what I got, if you don't like what I got. Anyways, um, again, everybody have a great Memorial weekend. If I don't talk to you again through the weekend, I'll see you next week. I'll chat next week. And um, with that, I'm going to say see you later next video. Bye for now.